Hello, my beauties. I wanted to share with you my take on the Asian versus Western makeup looks. So, for the purpose of this exercise, I'm generalizing on the stereotypical makeup looks, and I also wanted to make them both actually wearable. So, let's get started. As usual, start with a clean and moisturized face. The Asian pop culture loves the iris and large in contacts, so I'm going to pop in my Hello Kitty ones. The next thing is getting that super big doll eye with double eyelid tape. I swear it looks more painful than it is. Ta da! Now I have double eyelids. Next is priming the face. As I have discussed in my Ideal Girl East vs West Beauty Standard video, Asian girls like to look fairer, so I'm going to use a lightening slash brightening primer to make my face appear a shade lighter and then followed by a lighter foundation. I'm using this BB cream as it's one of my lightest foundation and it gives me a light to medium coverage with a slightly dewy finish. Now I'm going with a concealer to hide the dark circles and any blemishes I have because Asian girls have flawless skin. Now I'm going in with some translucent powder to set my under eyes so that concealer won't budge. Moving on to eyeshadows, it's all about that cute pretty feel so using this pink palette starting with the highlight color, I'm going in under the brow bone, inner corners, also along the bottom lash line. Then with that pretty pink color, add the accent to the inner corner, outer corner as well as the center of the lower lash line, kind of like a triangle shape. Next is the eyeliner, it should be super thin and natural. Just enough to elongate the eye shape and define the lash line. Then using a brown eyeliner for the bottom outer corners to join up to the top ones. This makes the eyes appear bigger and rounder. Then it's time to open up the eyes even more by applying a white eyeliner to the bottom waterline. To add more definition, use a brown eyeshadow color to go over the eyeliner on the top and bottom. This not only adds definition, but it sets the eyeliner so it lasts all day. Clean up any fallouts with a cotton tip. Now this is optional, but I added the darker pink color to the outer corners to give it more dimension and blend it out with a clean fluffy brush. Moving on to eyebrows. Eyebrows are normally straight, filled in very lightly, so I'm using a brow powder and then brushing away the excess with a spoolie. Straight brows tends to give a more youthful look and who doesn't love that? Then it's lashes. Since I already have lash extensions in, let's keep it natural and wispy. I'm also going to apply some bottom lashes for that Asian doll eye effect. Can never forget the sparkles, always highlight the inner corners with some glitter or shimmer. Moving on to the rest of the face, using just blush to contour the face. And then using a lighter, almost lilac blush to highlight by placing on the apples of the cheek. This also makes the complexion appear more brighter. Can you see the difference? Then it's time to powder the face and set the makeup in place. Lightly pat over the T-zone area and wherever it gets oily. The most common contour you can visually see on a typical Asian girl makeup is nose contour, as typically most Asian girls genetically don't have high nose bridges. Now the lips is typically two-toned. Light pink all over with a darker pink accent in the center. Blend it out with fingers and we're all done. Moving on to Western makeup is what you commonly see in Instagram and whatnot. I popped in some grey coloured contacts to make my eyes look more Caucasian. 
Now I'm going with a clear primer to prime my whole face including the eye area. Then I'm going in with the MAC Paint Pot to prime the eyes and neutralize any discoloration on the eyelids so that the eyeshadow can appear truer to color. Next I'm going to apply these eyeshadow shields so I can get a more defined and precise line. I love using these shields for smoky eyes. Using the Nude Palette by The Balm and taking the standoffish color, apply that to the whole eyelid. And then using the Sassy to highlight the brow bone and the inner corners. Next is taking Sultry to carve out a crease. And then blend it out with a clean fluffy brush. Using Sleek on a pointy brush to deepen the outer V to create that ideal almond eye shape. Using liquid eyeliner to draw the signature cat eye look. Because of my eye shape, I made the eyeliner slightly thicker than normal and I also pulled the inner corners out just slightly. The shadow shield is a great guide to getting that perfect flick. Just peel off the shield once you're done and voila! Going in with the waterproof eyeliner to connect the bottom eyeliner to the top so that it balances the shadow and taking a shimmery brown eyeshadow and set that eyeliner and blend away any harsh lines. Now moving on to brows, it's all about that full, defined and angular brow, so I'm going to use a gel formula to fill in the brows. And then use a concealer to clean up the lines to create that Instagram ready brow. I use the colour Snobby as a transition from the highlight colour to the shadow. And then using a glitter or a shimmery highlight color and apply that to the center of the eyelid to enhance the crease. Either use a ton of mascara or use these lashes by Kiss to give that full lash effect. And then just use mascara for the bottom lashes. Using the same white eyeliner for the bottom waterline to make the eyes appear clearer and bigger. Moving on to the face, it's all about that perfect summer tan look. So I'm going in with my matte foundation in the darkest color I have, apply that to the whole face and then blend it out with a beauty blender. Don't forget the neck as well. Next is using concealer to highlight the face. And then use a brush to blend it in with the foundation. Next is time to bake the face. Using the Beauty Blender, apply some translucent powder underneath the eyes and just let that sit there for a little bit. While we do the contour, nose is still a must but cheekbones, jawline and even hairline is necessary. Then brush off the powder from the underneath the eyes and apply some translucent powder all over the face to blend in the contour. That chiseled face is very western, so I'm going to add more contour there. Then apply blush right above the contour. And then highlight above the blush, cupid's bow and chin. I also like to blend all of that color together with a shimmery bronzer to give face that healthy tan glow. Now onto the lips. It's all about that full nude lip. So use a lip liner to fill in the lip shape. It's usually drawn a little outside your natural lip line. Then use a lighter nude lipstick all over the lip liner to give it more of a plump look. And that's it. There 
it is. Here are my take on the makeup standard trends between the East and the West. Which one is you? Which one do you prefer? Let me know below. Thanks for watching. Bye.